ho ho fellow rim rims and welcome to santa committing terrible war crimes today we have of course the new mod which you guys have all voted on for the santa advent calendar to go along with our drowning and to go along with our cult you guys have voted for that's right behind beefy to joris is prison labor very highly upvoted but a very tight competition between that and rim of magic which i assume will be going in at some point judging by you guys for door number four we have that's right it's yugi joe that was pretty much the best i had with that one it wasn't much of a pun was it i want to get the rebuilding done as fast as possible but before we can do that we need to deal with these scythers and i have no idea what the hell i'm going to do about the turrets our our longest range weapon is what santa's smg what the hell am i going to do about that <laughs> such a bizarre thing to say santa's smg um Sure, let's get Rudolph to go and equip that. And there he goes. These hands is officially dead as hell. We are out of the range of the turrets, though. So all we've got to do is deal with these guys, and we're good. Let's run and gun. We've got guns with some good range now, so this shouldn't take too long just to deal with these bloody scythers. Okay, we're almost there, and we're good. Is that all of them? Natsa is in a little bit of trouble here. Who's our best doctor, then, out of these two? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Luck. Santa's up. No, no, no. You don't do that. Uh, you tend to Natsa. Natsa's brother? Uh, okay. Adopted brother, I can only assume. That's also got to be Santa's brother, right? Let's say like half-brothers and this is the other half of the half-brother. Um, lover, friend. What? They are brothers. I don't know why it says that they aren't. Natsa's brother. I literally can't. Uh, uh, that would get us killed. Oh, shit. Unless, what if we go around this way? I go around that way. Oh, there's another bloody Scyther. Okay, it's dead. Right, can we focus on rebuilding now? Hopefully this won't be a problem. The occasional Scyther that they spit out, we can deal with. There's only two more. Exotic goods trader crash. Whoa, maybe something we could ride Joris over to. Wait. They crashed on my map? Oh, shit. I thought they were just going to crash, like, anywhere. Word of love. What the hell is that? Um, ah, labeled GCNP underscore M202 underscore NN. Okay. We've got a steel monstrous king statue, a mega screen television, a slate pillar. Wow, these are actually quite good. Um, and a couple of dead iguanas? Well, Natsa does me a favor and burns down the entire base. We're going to get Santa quickly to uh, trade with these guys and see what exactly they've got. Where's the... Ah, oh, there you are. Let's go and see. Who, what faction is this anyway? The Red Inlet Settlement. Let's go and see what they've got. Hello. Um, what the hell is a Quinn dog? A little dog with a red scarf. True. A doobie. A what? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm in. Okay, let's buy some dynamite then. What? Uh, he's become enraged. It will take any hostile disease with double attack speed being damaged while wearing a bare headdress. Sadistic rage. He punched a prisoner. The prisoner punched him back and now he's pissed. <laughs> and he got his ass handed to him. That's so funny. Another bolt goods trader. HP Lovecraft has sent us more bolt goods traders in the past, well, day than, he, than every other storyteller combined. Only, I mean, cloth is great. Cloth and steel is really all I'm after here. What the hell are you people doing? Santa's overdosing. <laughs> oh, no. That's actually quite significant. Oh, shit. Get the adrenaline. This is bad. This is, for, this is so cursed. If we run a RimWorld series and episode five, Santa dies from an OD, I'm never going to live it down. <laughs> Come on, live. I think he's going to be all right. 75%. Oh, he's fine. He's okay. After a little bit of a rebuild, the base is looking pretty good. Obviously, I haven't done anything about this yet, but we'll deal with that in a second. Hopefully, with... What the hell? Where did that come from? Okay, let's be careful. Maybe we'll use this thing, um, which looks like it might fire a rocket or two. Either that or we're getting close with some dynamite. Anyway... What I want to do quickly is make some more clothes for people. Natsa right now counts as naked. Um, and he's sad enough because his brother died, which, again, I couldn't really do much about. So I was taking a look through the clothes here. And I think my favorite out of all of them is is probably this one here. Because it has horns like what reindeers have. Now, if I try and pronounce the name of this particular uh, unholy deity, Susan's uh, Susan at YouTube's Naughty Boy sensor is going to go off for, uh, obviously, this part. So I'm not going to say that out loud because I don't want my channel to be buried. However, uh, that's probably the one we're going to go for because I think it's got the most Christmassy feel to it. Maybe this one too. Is that is that also that that one? <laughs> I certainly hope so. Um, Cultist robes fur. 
I guess it's probably the same thing. Oh, this one's quite good as well. Druidic. Oh, there you are. Yeah, sacred twigs that appeal to deities like that guy. Um, yeah, I'm all right with that. So let's throw a couple of those down. Is that outer layer as well? Because if that's outer, we can make some work clothes to go underneath it. Um, it is outer. Oh, fantastic. Right, so if we couple that up with uh, the... Uh, I want to make a uh, jumpsuit. Where, where are those? Jumpsuit, jumpsuit, jumpsuit. Jumpsuit overalls? That's what I'm looking for. Uh, overalls. Oh, we obviously haven't researched that yet. Okay, cool. So that's something we'll throw into the research mix. Now, right now, I'm working on gas extraction. So recently, Vanilla Power Expanded got a bit of an overhaul to make it... To be honest, a bit more useful. Beforehand, the only reason I, I, I actually used Vanilla Power or Expanded, especially the gas, the only benefit it had was that it didn't turn off during a solar flare. But that alone wasn't worth the research and the kind of separate power grid that went into it. So they've they've made it a lot more powerful now. Uh, basically actually worth doing at this point. It also has some other bonuses, like, for example, the gas you can use as a target to um, gas your enemies. I'm going to say it. Uh, so Santa... Santa's going down that route, basically. Walls as well. Obviously, they're supposed to be elven walls with, like, um, I think they're supposed to be branches, but they do look like veins, and that, I think, is a lot cooler um, for for Santa's fucked-up cult. I really need to redo the edge of the, uh, the cathedral in that, too. Oh, the other thing, then, the cult. That was a subject of hot debate in the comments yesterday. The most upvoted name that I saw was... Uh, I don't know. How, how can I bring it up? Here we are. The Cult of... Krampus, led by Natsa. Bear in mind, Natsa is the only person who cares about the cult anymore, so we need to get some more people on board. The cult itself is actually disbanded, but Natsa is the only one who, who believes in it. So we need to force some worship there. Unfortunately, we don't have anybody to worship. So we're going to have to do a little bit of research. I think I've got to get them to write a new book, I think. Yeah, we've got to get one of them to investigate the tree again, write another book, and then start researching some deities to worship. I've got it, the cathedral. You have to name the, uh, the cathedral as well. Uh, so we've got this one, the Cathedral of Duality. We have the anima tree representing the good parts of Christmas, that being Santa, and then the eerie tree representing the evil parts of Christmas, that being our boy Krampus. But they're both, they, they, they work together. You might think, oh, Krampus is the evil one. No, no, no. They are both evil in their own way. While Santa, I think that's pretty fucking obvious. Christmas cannot exist without both Santa and Krampus, the good and the bad. Krampus is probably bringing around at this point, you know, like, <laughs> drug support leaflets. Meanwhile, Santa's dropping off just all the yayo in the world. So why have you taken off your, your iconic hat, Santa? Put that back on. I do appreciate that the Mega Scarab Hood does kind of work with the color scheme. But that just seems a lot better. Balls. Okay. Okay, bear with me then. Uh, so we've got... Hang on, no, 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 no. It wasn't HP Lovecraft. It was that Berserker one in charge, right? I don't remember. Anyway, um, I was going to say whilst we had HP Lovecraft, and evidently I was wrong, um, that we should get as much research done as possible. So I put down a couple of research benches there, and we'll take the ones out of here too before I forget. Um, we've got a hunting party, a group of hunters from our other settlement, and then we've also got a storyteller change. Diego Dyer. Now, I don't remember what you do. Diego believes that the best stories are the violent ones. Oh, good. Facing unfavorable odds and going down her blaze of glory with exploding muff muffalos and drunks. I'm gonna have to disagree with you there, fella. Gonna have to disagree with you there. Okay, rockets away. Uh, is that good? That might just do it. Wait. It's not single shot? Are you kidding me? It's multiple shot? Oh, shit. The gazelle are taking a lot of the damage for us here, but it's not an explosive rocket launcher. It just... What the hell is that? And cures synthamide composite. Oh. Um, that's quite annoying. It doesn't actually cause explosions. It just sends fire out. Oh, shit. Okay, that's quite annoying. Never mind then. Okay, back to the drawing board. Get out of there, Rudolph. My God, this is a bad idea. Okay. Okay, here's the plan. Here's the plan. We throw a dynamite, and then we fucking hide, and we hope that that's enough. Oh, good Lord. Are they going to be able to see me there? No. If we throw a dynamite, like... We could throw it there and hope that it's enough to take that turret out. Okay, good shit, good shit, good shit. Bad shit. No, not enough. Okay, back you go. Oh, this one will do it. This one will do it. Hey! Oh, no! <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be quite that potent, I'll be honest. Okay. Um, balls. Right, put it, Put one like, uh, put one like there. That's, that's a good place. That's a good place. Bad, bad, bad throw. Bad throw. Okay, any second now. I think, I think it's, oh, okay, that was actually pretty good. I guess it's unpredictable by design, right? So they take a random amount of time per dynamite. Okay, go. 
That'll probably do it. I think that'll... Yeah, there we are. Nice work. And then we can go ahead and kick this thing to death. It was getting a little bit cold, which is why I wanted to deal with this now. And we are good. Hey, there we go. Another mech cluster defeated. Thanks, Rudolph. Very cool. We're just about to finish research on Santo's gas emporium. They'll probably have it done in the next day. So I want to get down very quickly another settlement to start funding all the resources that we're going to need for this. So I'm looking for anywhere with that multiplier. And that 1.5625 multiplier is pretty good. Um, I think there makes the most sense. Bear in mind they build roads out towards our settlement. So I assume they'll build through there and they'll build through there. Um, then if we kill those guys, we've got a fairly, a fairly clear pass. All right, I can do that. Settle is 1,350 silver. We have a shitload of silver right now because of all the trading and all the taxes that have been coming in from... What is at this point a decently happy settlement? The minimizing the taxation works really, really well on them. And then following up with that with the, uh... The adult entertainment center is actually keeping them decently happy. Oh my god, not again. <laughs> oh no, they're all the way out there. Send in Rudolph. Rudolph armed with his dynamite and his rocket launcher. Nobody gets in Santa's stash. I will admit, I did just try to light people on fire and they're in the water. Oh, good. That's what I like to see. Let them fucking drown. You go grab that. They've got anima fruit. They've got anima, anima fruit with them. Are they allowed to do that? My grapes! I mean, they're not my grapes, but they will be in a second. Well, or not. I guess if I can't have them, if they can't have them, no one can. Get out of here. Right, let's take a look then. So, Helixian pump, we need to put that one right there. And then we need lots of gas tanks. I'm thinking we put the gas tank somewhere safe. That way, if we do lose, I kind of love the idea of putting them in the cathedral. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That, seem, that seems pretty fun. That way, if we do lose the... Uh, set, we won't get a repeat of what's going on here. In fact, I don't know why I didn't learn from my lesson the first time there. We've quite clearly just put the oil thing right next to the highly... Pl this is... Oh, okay, whatever. We've done it now. <laughs> We've done it now. Right, let's put... Uh, well, let's get the cables run over. Or the, or the, or the pipes. And then I'll go ahead and I'll move that. I'll, I'll put some, some redundancy in there. Because that's just... Once again, the worst thing I've ever done. Hey, there we go. That was good timing, too, because this other Helixine pump down here is... Well, we just don't have the resources for it, so that's quite nice. Okay, then. So, these guys, Graton, are going to be our mining settlement. They're going to be the one that we tithe. So, let's go ahead and chuck all you workers into there and then hit the tithe button. Oh, God, that's expensive. Yeah, we can't quite afford that. We want to make sure that we're never going above... The profit poured in from the other place. Well, I mean, that's okay. You know, with like the 40 silver difference. I have spare workers from that. So we could put some workers on a different resource and use that for profit. That way we can pay off a little bit of the extra debt that's coming in from this place. Um, the best thing they can produce is either weapons or apparel. Now, obviously, selling weapons is heavily, heavily nerfed just to make up for the fact that you get so many weapons in RimWorld uh, from raids. So I think we go for... I think we go for apparel. Oh, that's quite expensive though, isn't it? Huh? We can't actually make any profit from that at all. Um, yeah, wow. That's like super, super expensive. <laughs> uh, in that case, is there anything we can make profit from at all? No, it's going to be 75 a go. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Unless we put down another building, like for example, the weapons warehouse or the uh, whatever it is, the apparel sweatshop. 0.5 to apparel production. I guess we could just put down like a trading post plus 10 tithe production. Sure, there you are. And then in this one, we want to just put everything tax related down and obviously everything uh, minor related too. So let's put down some more workers in there. Total profit is still fucking low. I might have to get rid of that minimal taxation. Sodom. Oh, here we go. Tribes people from the Toll Confederation. We have to sap around my defenses. What bloody defenses do you think I've built? <laughs> Oh, so we can actually finally test out Rudolph's rocket launcher, which is uh, a great expression on the battlefield in an actual live test this time. Know what you're thinking? Firing a rocket launcher this close to a gas network, probably dangerous. And to be honest, you're probably right. But I don't know. I'm not an expert. Where's Sansa? Uh, yeah, he's just about to flank ape. Kill ape. This is this is working out pretty goddamn well, actually. That was a pretty solid raid. Right, those guys are. Well, two are pissing around in the ocean, which is not really much of a problem. And then... Oh, what a hit. Look at that. Um, send Rudolph down here. You two deal with these guys. Oh, they're fleeing now. That's okay. All right, let's come over here and quickly pick off these other two. Why have we just got chem fuel absolutely everywhere? This seems really, really dangerous if our one of our primary weapons is a rocket launcher. Maybe that's just me. Oh, what a shot. Holy shit. And... Die. 
I don't think this is going to work very well, is it? Oh, you know what? I take that back. Oh, good. There we go. Hasta was discovered. The King in Yellow. Our first ever Rimworld series was about uh, Hasta, right? The Cult of Eagle. Well, all right then. So now we can hold sermons, right? Deity, Hasta, Preacher, Natsa. Brilliant. Morning sermons, evening sermons, sermons around the clock from his Yellow Kingdom. The unspeakable one watches. There's clearly another line of text there that we can't read. So can we force worship? Oh, you'll be sorry. Gathers for a sermon. Is that everybody? Attending a sermon. Attending a sermon. We can win him over. Join Natsa as he gives the old... Who the fuck are these rhinos? Are they here to join the cult? I mean, I, I guess it's allowed. Oh, yikes. Okay. So the empire actually got conquered. Uh, one of their settlements got destroyed by the cowboys, which is a fight I would love to see. Um, so they now live there. The Red Inlet Settlement. They're one of the rare people that were actually allied to. They were the ones that I gave the Christmas delivery to last time. Um... The only problem with that is now that they're there, we're going to have to reliably keep giving them Christmas deliveries. Otherwise, they're going to hate us. On the plus side, though, it means that the Empire won't hate us because we can't trade with the Empire unless you're a certain rank anyway. So that actually works out really, really well for us. Uh, we've now got Freya Fierce. Oh, shit. Um, I don't entirely know what you do. Um, every year after the first year at the start of April, May, your settlement will become increasingly unhappy until you send your colonists on the vengeance of a raid. Oh, and bring back the spoils of war. Oh, that's a really cool idea. Okay, um, how the hell am I going to do that and keep the base defended, though? Gotta ask, what the hell is a Quinn? A group of Quins, abandoned or lost. Oh, it's the dog with the bandana. And extremely derpy eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> Great, I've got a bunch of brain damaged dogs. That's really good, thank you. Fine, join me, Quins. Join me here. Yeah, area one. Get out of here. To be honest, we've already nailed all the goals I've already set out for ourselves today. Deal with the cults, which obviously we added yesterday, but weren't really able to capitalize on too much with all the bloody raids and rebuild from all the bloody raids and the meteorite. So we've already dealt with that. So my next thing is, of course, we need to really do something with prison labor. We've got a really nice prison. To be honest, it, I've seen hotel rooms worse than this. Uh, we've got a prisoner with 10.37 artistic that we're not doing anything with. So I think I need to ring up Elrond uh, and call him a shit. Oh my god, we haven't got a trade beacon. We've got a comms console. Oh, I dread to think how much shit we've missed out on then. Balls. Um, we just still have the trade beacon, don't we? Yeah, that's fine. Santa, let's get this built as soon as possible. I'm not going to call Elrond uh, a dick, but I am going to call him on the comms console. Uh, where is he? Elrond, Elrond, Elrond. Hi, Council of Elves. Hello. Right. Uh, Els Esgeldir, you're a cock. Oh, he viciously insulted Esgeldir's friends. Esgeldir, elf architect, is really pissed off. You'll be raided in one hour? Oh, Jesus. I thought it would take a couple of attempts to really to really nail it and send and send him. But no. No, they are coming immediately. I'm not prepared. Oh, God, where are they? A group of high elves are attacking immediately. What? That's... That's one elf. That's one elf. He's got a Rivendell elf bow. He's got an elf robe and an elf cape and some elf silver. Or regular silver, I guess. Um, great memory. Tor tortured artist is great. Nudist, beautiful. Oh, hello. <laughs> Everybody wants to see a 6,000-year-old elf. Uh, okay. Uh, you said a group of elf. That is that is, that is one elf. That is, that is elf singular. Okay, that's fine. Um, I guess we'll try and take him alive. Where's your net gun, Santa? Uh, where is Santa's... Net gun. Balls. I guess we'll use the cryo blaster. Okay, gonna equip that as a sidearm then. We can hit him with fire and ice. Oh, it's so poetic. Get in there. Well, I mean, <laughs> he probably won't agree with the fact that it's poetic. He'd probably just agree that it's very painful, which is kind of the point. Take him alive. Take him alive, boys. When can we insult them again? Because that was not really what I asked for. A single elf. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Freeze. What a shot. And fire. Yes, good. Bring him down. Bring him down. He's shivering. Maybe we should just get in there and just punch him now. Okay, watch this. Santa with the flying elbow drop. Boom. Oh, they, they got way too far away. Santa, you fuck that one. Punch him. We've got him. We've got him. We've got him. We've got him. Capture. Okay, hold, 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 hold. Huddle. Uh, medical. Santa, capture. Boom. He's done it. Fire and ice never fails. Hey, there we go. We've got a Rivendell elf bow. What are, what are those good for? 20 damage. Actually, that's pretty good, though, is it not? 
DPS server accuracy. That's literally our third best weapon. Armor penetration 50? Our best weapon against mechanoids is a fucking bow and arrow. <laughs> wow. Range of 46? And what's the cool... That's the cooldown, right? The cooldown is less than the heavy SMG. And the, uh, the warm-up is much higher. But that's because you're knocking an arrow. That's so good. Wow. Thank you, uh, Elrond. Much appreciated. Let's get that out of here. Nick, explore name Bicep. Hello. Uh... Pavel Bicep Kane. Uh, he's ugly. And he hasn't really got much going for him either. Also, you're not an elf. More to the point. I don't think Santa's workshop was run by... Was run by Pavel Kane last time I checked. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, to be fair, that elf had a hell of a crack shot. Straight in the torso, destroying it instantly. We might have to borrow... Malel's. She's got that predator stomach, right? It means that you need to eat way less. Yeah, weakens the stomach, but the hunger rate is damn it, 25. That's so good. Does that eat more? A hunger rate minus 25%. Multipl it's a multiplier. So that means you eat less. That's good. That's fine. Santa needs a stomach, Malel, and unfortunately, you're the only one. Did this happen in Santa's workshop? Did he operate on his elves and then extract all the, all the genetic bonuses from that? Surgery failed. What the hell did you do? You scratched her neck. Natsa, where did you get your medical license? All right, round two. Here we go. He's, uh, you know, maybe not in the best frame of mind to be doing this operation. Or, alternatively, is in the best frame of mind. You are a fucking fool. He's an absolute fool. All right, third time's the charm. <laughs> ah! Oh, never mind. Sorry. We'll just have to put you under and then he fucks off and goes and does a sermon instead. Brilliant. Oh, look at that. 1,582 now that I've repealed minimal taxation. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> With that flag too, maximizing taxation seems seems incredible. Um, so we're making 2,374 profit from that. Holy shit, that's huge. So then if we go ahead and crank it up to maximum, what can we tithe from you as well? Um, Kitin. I'm not sure that's where you get that from, but that's okay. Forum. I don't really want Forum. I don't even know what Forum is. Sandstone blocks not interested. Granite blocks not interested. Limestone slate. Now you can keep all that. Coral is kind of cool, but not really relevant. Um, uranium, plastic, steel, gold components. Yeah, I'm all right with that actually. Maybe not uranium so much, but I guess we could rebuild the base out of that. Grat on the hamlet, located in a mountainous land of an arid shrubland. Hey, there we go. Taxes. They sent me. 693 steel and, oh, 1,461 marble blocks. I didn't disable it, obviously, before they sent it over. We got the stomach. Fantastic. Santa's gonna love it. Just to clear up any confusion, if there ever was, a highly efficient, although basic stomach alternative, subjects with this mutation will be able to live longer with less food. So not only is Santa getting his stomach repaired, but it's also, it's also an upgrade to install predator stomach. Natsa, if you fuck this one up, I swear to God. That's actually really, really good. They've given this a serious boost, haven't they? So this produces 300 M question marks per day. Um, we've got an excess gas of 550. And we've got 3,700, uh, sorry, 3,571 stored. These things use 25 a day and produce 1,000 watts? It might be a little bit too powerful now. <laughs> I think they may have gone a little bit far in the opposite direction there. Oh. Okay, it's only a little one. Thank God. Okay, that's not terrible. It's not good, seeing as we've only got three, well, four people uh, barely with any weapons capable of combat. But that's um, not something we have to urgently worry about. Well, I guess unless they dig through one of the prison walls. Merry Christmas. It's a genetic abomination. Oh, he's good. He actually succeeded. What a guy. Hey, there we are. Fantastic. Predator's stomach is installed. Rudolph, what the hell are you doing? What was he doing? It really makes you think. Oh, he's so fucked. Oh, he's actually fine. Rudolph, what a guy. Get away, get away. Run, 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 run. Hey, he's broken, he's broken. Okay. Keep moving. Just stick to the diagonal. And fire. Oh, what a shot. Now, I don't want to get into too heavy combat until Santa's back upon his feet. Because he's our second best soldier. As long as we can get a few shots off to start off with. That'd be ideal. Stick on the diagonal. And what's the range on this thing? Oh, it's gigantic. Holy shit. Hey, there we are. Rudolph won't be able to attend this sermon, I'm afraid. Oh my god, the Lembus. Oh, you fool, there's a visitor. Bait them over to the visitor. 
Visitor, please help. Fuck the Lembus. Oh, uh, forget about the forget about the sermon. Pretty sure unavailable. Yeah, I agree. That's a good idea. Um, how are we doing with regards to the actual insects? They're going after Christmas, Jaris. They're going after Christmas. Jar Where are the other ones? They seem to have. Oh my God! They're attacking my giant snake. The giant snake should win that. I'm sorry, but if it doesn't, it's it, it doesn't it doesn't deserve to be part of the colony anyway. Right, let's get you over there. Rudolph, how are you doing? He's doing okay. He did kind of fluff that shot a little bit there. Villa, you're going to help me out here? Double-barreled shotgun? That's what we like to see. Okay, Rudolph, just keep moving here. God, this is fucked. I've got to juggle so many things. Right, uh, Constantine, go help out. Go help out Christmas Jarus. Help out Christmas Jarus. Okay, we good? Where did that other... Oh, well, there's only two mega spiders there, right? Great, great shooting. Okay, you get up here. How's Rudolph doing? Fine, but the guest, maybe not so much. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Right, you come down here and let's, uh, let's go torch these insect hives. What about the Lambus? Oh, Jesus. Um, turn to Christmas Jarus. That's, that's, that's reasonable. Uh, I think we may lose the Lambus. Oh, the rain. Oh, thank God. Oh, more elves. Hey, more workers for the workshop. It's one guy again. It's another guy called Gudon? Must be a popular name amongst elves. Um, what have you got? You got another Rivendell elf bow. Oh my God, wooden Galadrim elf bow and an accurate wooden Mirkwood elf bow. Oh, this guy's uh, armed to the teeth, huh? Well, let's see again what, whether we can, uh, we can just kind of take him alive here. This is a nice way to start building up our sweatshop. Um, what do we need then? We, we need like um, we need like an artist table in here, don't we? Let me let me just go ahead and sort that out before we start bringing more people into here. So we need eight. No, no, no. Art bench. Let's put down an art bench, and then maybe maybe a couple of art benches actually, seeing as we've got so many so many artistically minded elves. Um. Shit, I put them in probably the worst place on the map. Okay, we'll put one there, and then we'll put one there. That's fine. Um, then I can put a tool cabinet behind as well. So go ahead and drop one like... Oh, balls. What a fool. Here he comes. Oh, he's got a hell of a range to him. Holy shit. Watch out, Santa. Watch out. Okay, get, get, a, get a freeze off quick before he reloads. Nice. Nice. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, get in there and punch. He's going to head for the water. Bring him down. Careful with that halberd, for God's sake! Actually, no, no, that was that was perfect. That was textbook. A frostbite and a burn on the leg. It's, it's taking him out. Now we can just capture him. Oh wait, hang on. We haven't got any uh, haven't got any beds down still, huh? I just guess we'll put down a sleeping spot. What are you good at any? Oh, construction. Oh, crafting is a minor passion with 5.67 skill, 76 skill. We might be able to do something with that, but it's still not perfect, is it? What about these weapons as well? Are they are they also fairly good? The, the, the Galadrium elf bow is, is okay. I still can't believe that's got 50 armor penetration. That's nuts. It's right here, my friends. This is the spirit of Christmas personified. You got Santa overseeing his elf sweatshop with his rifle, spinning it around with his glasses. This one's smelting the slag. This one's turning it into shit that we can sell to people for far more than it's worth and in turn power our own war crimes. My god, he's actually done it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Santa's first produced item is a giant fuck-off snake. I got the perfect place to put that. Oh, oh shit, look at this. 80 components, we'll admit, not really what I need right now. Oh, Jesus, really not what we need right now. The 2,500 marble blocks, they're pretty relevant because I've started work on... A big old wall around the whole thing. That's right. Trying to defend our, our territory a little bit here. I'm going to stick a big old wall around the entire map. Sod it. And they can still get in via the ocean. So it's not like we're going to cut enemies off so they, they are forced to, you know, drop pod in or sap through. They can just go straight around there. Then we just cover the edge of the map in turrets and we're, and we're golden. I actually also really like the storyteller because they have sent nothing our way. What have we had? Enemy raid infestation. That was it. That was the last thing we had. That was the, um, obviously the insects. What was the other thing that we had? Those are the guys who turned up, they were probably clapped by the mechanoids, right? This storyteller is sending nothing our way. We do, however, have to worry about the Restless modifier, which is a minus 15. Um, but we can cancel that out by taking some cold, hard drugs. Another single elf? I almost feel like something's very broken. <laughs> Still not complaining. I'm still not complaining. Maybe it's because... Th maybe the storyteller can't send mechanoids because it's the Viking storyteller. And our only other enemies are, what, insects and... Oh, that's not true, though, because there's the Rimsonel faction. The Ferals, or whatever the hell they're called. And the Federation. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter hugely, to be honest. Uh, you know, because it's given Santa plenty of downtime to build this mighty base. I've put down some fences around the farms, and I've let the animals wander free range, rather than uh, in my stockpile shitting and bleeding everywhere, which was very annoying. And I've put down this little barn for them to live in at some stage as well. Right, let's send Santa and uh, Rudolph to go and ice and fire him up. Good shot, Rudolph. What a, what, a, what a good start. And you are done for. Right, get in there. Melee. Bring him down. Bring him down. Santa, bring him down. P please. There we go. Okay, we got him. You gotta be careful doing that, because these elves do have that racial bonus that makes them punch really hard. Um, a wooden gun of dream elf bow. Right, capture. Be gone. Nice work. Finally, it's time for Santa to assume his true form. This is, this is so good. <laughs> this is so... Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> You see that coming down your chimney at night. Wow, that would be uh, that would be a different Christmas. Oh, good job, everyone. Incredible job on voting for what we've got so far. I uh, haven't really applied prison labor very much yet, but we'll get there. They're still working, making us some small sculptures right now. They are, they are really helping churn things out there. We are trying to recruit them as well so that obviously we can have them do a few more useful things when we eventually do get them into the base. When they've earned our trust, we'll let them become proper workers in Santa's workshop but we've got a big old outer war down there obviously the farm's looking a little bit nicer full base rebuild is fantastic out of something not quite as flammable as wood and the cathedral is looking mighty nice of course feel free to send some more mods in the comment section today and the most upvoted one will be added into the mod pack tomorrow for our third day fourth day fourth day of joris advent i look forward to seeing what you suggest keep them keep them keep them coming Thank you to the patrons who keep me coming. A big thank you goes out to Nero Nightshed, Felpy, Soriel, Echolcake, Dranmir, X Doctor Don, MD, Rage Dragon, Out of All Context, Kekvit, Ure, Tompage, Demon Boy, Thick Quack 62, Amore the Fox, Crimson, and Namo, along with, of course, everybody at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to Flom, Selkath, Sith. Major Mythical, Sam Haruni, EV Moon, Nyankat17, Astros Fan, 12345, Blue Chaos, Struck Iron, and Balman2 for their support in making this series possible. As much as they probably end up regretting it at this point. See you all tomorrow for day whatever we're at the advent calendar. I don't remember which Joris is coming out next. Oh, this is going to be a surprise for me as well.